Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Let's see how the uh, wonderful new fill transform works in uh, Manifold System Release 9. All this works in the free Manifold Viewer as well, so you can uh, download Viewer and, and uh, try it at home with uh, no strings attached. Uh, we're looking at Release 9 uh, right now. This is a typical uh, desktop project, and we have a raster here called Alps. We're going to double click open the Alps uh, raster, then here in the uh, location button, we'll go to a uh, location that we've previously saved. And actually, let's, uh, let's zoom back in. What this does, this, this is a, a space shuttle uh, uh, terrain uh, uh, radar uh, mission uh, data set which uh, accumulated a terrain elevation uh, data in uh, the Alps, uh, uh, the, the southern Alps around uh, Italy. And so this is Italy down here and these are the Alps around Italy and around here are places like uh, Balzano and you know the various lakes and that sort of thing. So we're going to zoom into this location here and we can see that the uh, space shuttle mission uh, didn't pick up terrain elevation data in certain portions of the terrain. And uh, those portions uh, that it didn't pick up are missing so that uh, you know, you, you, you see them as, um, you know, the white space in the background uh, shining through. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to fill in those different parts of the parts of the, uh, the uh, train using the fill transform. And uh, to do that, with the focus on the window where the Alps, Alps uh, raster is open, uh, we click Transform, and uh, we choose the Tile as the uh, field that's going to be the, the default uh, field choice anyway. And we'll uh, double-click on the uh, Fill Transform right there. And there's a variety of things that we can do here. For example, we can fill just the visible pixels with uh, any particular value. For example, we can fill them with, uh, well, let's pick an elevation of about uh, 800 meters, I think this is, in this data set. And if I click Preview, you can see what it does. Uh, this is all the pixels that are visible, that are all the ones which, except the ones that are missing, are going to be filled with that same value, a value of 800. Uh, and if I want, I can save the result to, oh, uh, well, let's call it a, Let's uh, save it to a new thing. Uh, let's call it the new image uh, filled 800. And uh, the uh, table for that I'm going to call filled 800 tiles. And click transform. And uh, that creates a, uh, a new uh, drawing called filled 800 uh, or filled eight, with filled 800 tiles in the uh, data set. Let's uh, go back here to Alps and let's go back to the transform. And let's change, choose another option. We can choose visible pixels. We can fill just the missing pixels or missing pixels from nearest. Let's uh, fill the missing pixels, and we'll fill those those with a value of 800. And uh, I'll choose a filled uh, missing 800. And if I preview what that's going to look like, you can see that it's just going to fill in all the uh, places that had missing pixels with the same value, that is, uh, of an elevation of 800. So let's click Transform. Uh, to do that, and uh, that you can see we've, we've, we've created a new data set called Filled Missing 800, where if we uh, zoom in to take a look at what that looks like, you can see that it's filled in those as well. And uh, let's do this one more time, and uh, what I'm going to do now with the transform is I'm, I'm going to use the third option. I'm going to fill in uh, the mixing, missing pixels from nearest. And what this does is going to fill in all these missing pixels, those, those are the ones that are in white, uh, with values that are interpolated from a surrounding terrain. And to see what's a good radius value, and let's uh, let's do this. Let's uh, filled nearest, and uh, let's call that uh, filled nearest uh, tiles. Let's do that as well. And if I want to see how a radius of a uh, let's say a radius of one works, click preview. It's only going to search for like you know one pixel away from you know where the missing pixels are, so that's not going to fill in very many of them. If I click uh, change that to five and click preview again, uh, you can see that it's filling in more of them. And uh, let's do a split screen. Let's do uh, right about here, so you can see where uh, some of them where it's filling in part of that, but only about five pixels into the missing pixels. That's what it's doing. If I if I choose a radius of uh, ten, it's going to fill in even more. Click Preview, and you can see that big one's still there. So if I choose a radius of 20, it's going to fill in all of them because that's that's for the, enough pixels that are far away to fill in all the missing pixel regions. Click Preview, and you can see that does indeed fill fill all of them in. Uh, let's uh, do a transform to uh, create that, and uh, that's filled nearest, and you can see there's no holes in it right now. Let's uh, let's copy the color the, you know, the color ramp from this and the uh, style settings and apply it to the others. And the way I do that, uh, it's kind of a trick here in the, in the, in the properties. I'm going to right click and choose copy to get the style pixel value. And then down here for the field nearest, I'm going to choose properties. I'm going to add a style pixel value. And uh, here I will put that value. Now when I click OK and I click open field nearest, it's going to use the same formatting as the Alps did. 
I just copied the uh, styling because all styling is in manifold. Is it's just a it's a it's a JSON string which uh, says you know how to style something. So if I uh, go to uh, the same location, you can see here's the Alps, and you can see there's where that white hole is, and here's the field nearest. If I like what I can do, which is kind of cool, let's go to the, here the Alps and let's drag and drop field nearest into that. But let's uh, move the Alps above it, so you can see where. Uh, Here's the, I can double click that layer that's now a background layer filled near us to see how those white spots got filled in. And you can see where, uh, you know, the uh, swathes that have been filled in are pretty big. It does this interpolation thing. Uh, so you get some interpolation artifacts and when it's a really big area. But when the holes that are filled are pretty small, like around here, it's really hard to tell that they've been filled. It's a, actually a pretty good, pretty good interpolation around here. So, uh, you know, if you just want to fill in uh, regions to, uh, you know, get that uh, train elevation data looking the way it should, or for that matter, uh, any kind of rasters for just images and that sort of thing, that's also pretty cool. While we're at it, uh, let's see what the uh, what these other ones were, and I'm going to style those. So let's do the properties. Let's add style pixels. I still have the JSON value in the uh, on the clipboard, so I can do that. And then here, this one, a lot of style pixel property as well. Pixel and uh, create, and let's pop those open. And uh, you can see this is what this is what this one looked like, where we uh, filled all the visible pixels and left the invisible ones. We put a value of 800 into them, and here's where we filled the mix missing pixels with a value of 800. Zoom to the same location, and you can see in, over here where there was a big white spot. Oops, a big white spot. Uh, it was filled in with, with just a flat value of 800. So if you've got missing pixels and you want to put something in there, like as if it was a lake, you know, whatever, a terrain at an at elevation of 800, uh, that's, that's, that's what you could do. Uh, but usually with people, the way people use this uh, fill uh, transform is to fill in missing regions that are interpolated from surrounding pixels. Anyway, it's that easy to do. It's really fast. Uh, as you can see, the transform is just very straightforward. Just, you know, uh, put the focus on whatever layer you want to uh, fill. Uh, choose one of these three values, missing pixels, missing pixels from nearest, or visible pixels. You know, set the uh, radius or the other value that you want. Uh, give it a name if you don't want to uh, uh, fill it in place. If I wanted to fill it in place, I could just fill the same field, and that would just fill in. You know, it's, in fact, let's do it. What the heck? Let's uh, click Transform, and there we've just filled in, you know, that uh, data set in place. I want to make sure not to save this so I don't mess up the uh, data set that I use for uh, demonstrations and videos. Uh, but it's that easy to use. Uh, learn, uh, look into the user manual to uh, learn all about how to use the transform pane. It's extremely fast, as you can see. Uh, it's a modeless, uh, it's a non-modal pane. So uh, when we switch from these various different uh, 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 switch contexts to these various different uh, rasters, uh, we can you know keep changing things here and apply it over and over and over with slightly different settings, which makes kind of iterative. iterative. Let's 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 work on that pronunciation. Iterative. Uh, work extremely easy. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vi uh, this video. Uh, tell your friends about Manifold and uh, goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.